Okay, so we did it. We did it. And there's field wire all mixed up in this. There's a robin over there eating. <laughs> uh, and, uh, there's some wood that we uncovered. The hoses are here. You know, this would have been a this would have been a hell of a process to try to do. You know, it was all tangled up, and you know, you would have ripped out all this. Uh, your strawberries would have got torn out because you don't know where the strawberries are, and the field wire is all tangled up in it. And you're like, ah, what do I do with my strawberries? But no, no, this worked real good, and the grapes turned out real good. And you know, now it can all be adjusted and put back in its place. A road. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new garden. So what did it cost? What did it cost, you know? I say I use maybe uh, five bucks in gas at most. And no, I don't even think I use that. I bet you I used about $2.50. So you go down, you think about all the damn tools that you buy in the store that would have done this, the gas for the truck to haul the shit away, the, the, the weed whacker, the rototillers, the gas for that, gas for that, the insurance, and everything that's compiled up into what you have to pay. I paid $2.50. $2.50 is all it costs to do this. And you get better results because it just chewed that stuff up into sm small little particles. And I watered the, the all the plants that we wanted to keep at the same time. Great for doing a whole lot better. Everything's accessible. So anyway... I just wanted to let you see what the after effect of hydrotilling is for $2.50. Mm -hmm.